first graders, my name is Miss Prescott and I am one of the first grade teachers at South Shore Pre-K 8 in Rainier Beach. Like a lot of you, I'm really missing being at school right now. One of the things I miss is having lunch with my students. A couple days a week we would do something called lunch with the teacher and students would come eat with me and we just had a lot of fun. Now my lunches are feeling pretty lonely and I can't wait to get back to that time at school. I know that your teachers are also missing you and thinking about you and wishing they could be with you right now. In the meantime though, we can do some learning together and that's what we're gonna do this week. So we are gonna be doing some making meaning lessons together. Today is the first one of those and we are going to read a new book and discuss it. And later this week, we'll look back at the book again and we'll do some activities and talk about our learning. So as you are um, listening to the book today and I'm asking questions, I'm gonna ask you to turn and talk to somebody and to share your thinking with them. So if you have someone to watch with at home, you can turn and talk to them. And remember that whatever language you speak at home or feel comfortable speaking in, please speak in that language when you share your thinking. If you don't have someone at home to turn and talk to, you can always look at me on the screen. Um, when it's time to talk, I'll go like this. And then I might show you the book a little bit closer so you can see that in case you need uh, to remember any details, but know that I'm listening back there. And if um, those options don't work for you, another option is to grab a stuffed animal like my friend Koala Bear here, and you can turn and talk to your stuffed animal. Just make sure to stay on track. All right, I think we're ready to get started. So the book that we are going to read today is called A Day in the Life of a Garbage Collector. And it is by Nat, Nate Libotier. So this is a story about a garbage collector named Rick and his work. I'm gonna read you a paragraph that is on the back of the book that tells us a little bit more about what we can expect from this book. So. Garbage collectors get up early in the morning to take away your garbage. You may never see them, but they are very important community helpers. Spend time with Rick as he goes about his day. So what do you think you know about garbage collectors? Thank you for sharing your thinking. So at the beginning of this book is the table of contents and this lists the different chapter titles. So we will see chapters like, when do garbage collectors start their days? How important is safety to garbage collectors? What do garbage collectors wear? What do garbage collectors drive? What do garbage collectors do? Who helps garbage collectors? What happens when the truck is full? How do garbage collectors end their days? So you're gonna hear these chapters today. And then these items right here are all at the end of the book. These sections are something that we will look at tomorrow and explore together in our next lesson. All right, so remember that this book follows Rick um, as a garbage collector as he goes about his job. So this book also has photographs like you see on the front of the cover and those photographs are gonna show us all the different things that he does throughout his day. All right, as I read, I want you to listen and think about what you learn about garbage collectors. All right, so our first chapter starts here. It says, when do garbage collectors start their days? So that is the chapter title. And remember, chapter titles usually let you know what information is gonna be in the chapter. So for example, this chapter title tells us, when do garbage collectors start their days? So we know the information in this chapter is gonna tell us what they do to begin their morning. This also has an illustration of a clock to show the time when Rick starts his day. It says up here, 4.30 in the morning. 
So this clock is on other pages to show what times Rick is doing different things. Another thing we'll see is the fun fact box. And this gives us more information about garbage collectors. It says, fun fact, there are about 100,000 garbage trucks in the United States. Okay, let's get started reading. When do garbage collectors start their days? Garbage collectors wake up early in the morning. They start work when most people are still sleeping. Rick, the garbage collector, arrives at the office. He picks up his paperwork and swipes. Swipes means he pulls a plastic card through a machine that reads the information on the card. It's like right here. He swipes his time card, and a time card is a card that's used to record the times a worker starts and ends their work day. So he swipes his time card to start the day. It's a picture of his time card, swiping it. What did you learn about how Rick starts his day? learned is that he starts his day really early, 4.30 in the morning. That's before I get up. How important is safety to garbage collectors? Safety is very important to garbage collectors. Once a week, Rick goes to safety meetings. At the meetings, he learns how to keep himself and others safe on the job. This is at five o'clock in the morning. What did you learn? about how Rick learns about safety. Why is learning about safety important? I learned that Rick goes to a meeting once a week and I think that's important for him to learn about safety so that his body stays stays safe and so do his colleagues or the people that he works with his co-workers so here it's at six o'clock in the morning what do garbage collectors wear garbage collectors wear shirts pants gloves and steel-toed boots gloves keep rick's hands safe from sharp objects such as broken glass Rick's boots keep his feet safe from falling garbage. Garbage collectors also wear hard hats when they dump garbage. What did you learn about what garbage collectors wear? Why is it important to wear those things? learned that he wears steel-toed boots and it's important for him to wear those to keep his feet safe in case garbage falls on them. What do garbage collectors drive? Garbage collectors drive trucks. The garbage truck has a large bin. It's a large container or box for storing things. It has a large bin to hold trash. Rick checks the truck for problems each morning. This morning, he fills the tires with air. Fun fact, some garbage trucks have two sets of controls. Garbage collectors can drive from the right or left side of the truck. This is happening at 6.30 in the morning. What did you learn about what garbage collectors drive? learned that they drive trucks that have a big space for them to put all the garbage in. What do garbage collectors do? Garbage collectors drive different routes. 
Routes are ways to get from one place to another. Drive different routes every day. They stop at houses and buildings to pick up garbage. This is happening at seven o'clock in the morning. A lift on Rick's truck picks up garbage cans. It dumps the garbage into the truck. The garbage is crushed to make more room or make room for more. So what did you learn about what garbage collectors do? learned that they don't go to the same place every day. They have different routes or different ways to get different places and they go to different buildings and homes each day to pick up their trash. It's 11.30 in the morning. Who helps garbage collectors? Mechanics help garbage collectors by taking care of the trucks. Mechanics fix, fix trucks when they break down. Today, Jeremy checks a truck for problems. People can also help garbage collectors. They can help by putting their garbage neatly into bags and cans. What did you learn about who helps garbage collectors? I learned that we can help garbage collectors if we put our garbage neatly into bags and cans. What happens when the truck is full? When the truck is full, it is time to dump the garbage. Rick dumps his truck at a holding area. That's a place where things are kept until they can be moved. So Rick dumps his truck at a holding area. At some holding areas, the garbage is sorted. Some of the garbage is recycled. That means saved to be made into new things. So if some of the garbage is recycled, the rest of the garbage is taken to a landfill. And a landfill is a place where garbage is buried. So it's taken to a landfill. At the landfill, the garbage will be covered with a layer of dirt. So here's a picture of a landfill before the dirt is put on it. And this is at 1.30 in the afternoon. What happens when the truck is full? I learned that when the truck is full, they take all of it to a uh, holding area and that's where they sort it and decide if it's gonna go to the recycle or to the landfill. So here we got two o'clock in the afternoon. How do garbage collectors end their days? Garbage collectors have work to do after the garbage is dumped. Rick puts fuel in his truck for tomorrow. He fills out paperwork in the office. Rick swipes his time card and goes home to rest for another day. What, do you, what did you learn about how Rick ends his day? I learned that he ends it just like he started it. He swipes his time card to show that he ended it. Remember at the beginning, he's swiping it to show that he's uh, showed up for work and that he is beginning his job. And now he's gonna swipe it again so that it records that he's ended his job and he's done for the day. All right. So what did you learn about garbage collectors that surprised you? learned that they get up really early in the morning to start their day. Remember that 4.30 in the morning, that surprised me that they are up so early. 
How can you help a garbage collector? And why is that important? I learned that mechanics help garbage collectors, but I also learned that we can help garbage collectors by making sure that our trash gets into trash cans and into um, garbage bags. Because if everybody just threw their trash on the street, garbage collectors would have to work so much harder and, and they already work pretty hard having to collect all the trash off of the street. But if we put it in a bag, they can easily grab it and take it to the um, holding center or the holding, what was that called? The holding, oh, I'm sure you guys know. My kids always remind me of the words that I forget. The holding. The holding area. Yes, and so we help to make sure that the garbage collectors are able to grab, their, grab that garbage and take it there effectively and efficiently. So today we learned some interesting facts about garbage collectors. What are some things you are still wondering about garbage collectors? Great, I'm wondering, does Rick ever work with someone else? Remember they said that you could drive on both sides. So I wonder if he ever has a partner um, that rides with him and jumps out the other side while he jumps out that side. Um, how might we find out about the things that we wonder? How could you figure out how to answer your questions or help me figure out how to answer mine? We could read other books about garbage collectors. We could talk to a garbage collector in our community. And they could try to help us answer our questions. So in the next lesson, we are going to learn more about garbage collectors and explore the other sections that I showed you in the table of contents. We're gonna explore those in our next lesson. So remember, now it's time to do IDR, so independent daily reading and you wanna grab some books that are just right for you and start reading for at least 15 minutes. And when you are done in your learning packet, um, there is a page that looks like, I just had it sitting here, that looks like this. And it says, Wondering for Monday. And you're gonna write um, take a book that you're reading during IDR and you are going to write the title of the book. You're going to check which text features you find in that book. So glossary, captions, index, diagram. And then you are going to write about one thing that you learned and one thing that you wonder. All right. Have an awesome day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.